In this video, I'm going to cover five example ACT problems that involve logarithms. So this one says, what is the real value of x in the equation log base 2 of 24 minus log base 2 of 3 equals log base 5 of x? So we see here, we start out with the subtraction of two logs. When we have that with the same base, base 2, we can use the quotient rule, which is going to change this to log base 2 of 24 divided by 3. Okay, so the 24 and 3 become division equals log base 5 of x. On the left hand side, I can evaluate the 24 divided by 3. That's going to be 8. So log base 2 of 8 equals log base 5 of x. And log base 2 of 8, 2 to what power? equals 8. So that's going to be in exponent form. And if you know your multiplication tables, you know that's going to be 2 to the third power. Okay, so log base 2 of 8 evaluates to 3. Now I can change it from log form to exponential form, which is going to stay 5 raised to the 3 power equals x. So 5 raised to the 3rd power equals x. And then 5 to the 3rd power, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So here are the rules that we use were the quotient rule and changing the log form, the exponential form, and evaluating exponents. So this one says, which of the following is a value of x that satisfies log base x of 36 equals 2? So in order to solve for x, we need to get this in exponential form. And that's going to end up being x raised to the second power equals 36. Remember, we have log base b of x equals y. That's log form, and then, and then exponential form is b to the y power equals x. So here our base was x, our y power was the 2, and our x is the 36. So x squared equals 36, and if you know your perfect squares, you know that has to be 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So our answer is d. This one says log base a of x equals s, and log base a of y equals t, and then log base a of xy quantity squared equals. Okay, so when you have a problem like this, you want to get it so that your logarithm is in form of log base a of x and log base a of y. So using the log form, so using some log rules here, I can say log base a of x squared and y squared. They're just using rules of exponents there. I can distribute the two outside to each of the terms inside. So x squared times y squared. Now when you have two things multiplied together inside there, we can change it to two logarithms where we have log base a of x squared plus log base a of y squared. Then I can move the 2 that's in the exponent out front to make it 2 log base a of x plus 2 log base a of y. Now I have it where log base a of x is equal to s log base a of y is t so that's 2s plus 2t 
Because your answer choices, we don't have anything exactly like that, but it looks like A factored out to 2. So then we have 2 times the quantity S plus T. Alright, so answer A is correct. This one reads, the total amount of a certain substance present in a laboratory experiment is given by the formula A equals A sub 0 times 2 raised to the h over 5 power, where a is the total amount of the substance h hours after initial amount a sub 0 of the substance began accumulating. Which of the following expressions gives the number of hours it takes an initial amount of 10 grams of this substance to accumulate to 100 grams? So this is exponential growth. We want to figure out what h is when the initial amount is 10 and final amount is 100. So if we fill in those numbers, we have 100 is equal to 10 times 2 raised to the h over 5 power. So the first thing I want to do is divide both sides by 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. And I have 2 raised to the h over 5 power. I need to get this h out of the exponent spot, so I can take log base 2 of both sides. So log base 2 of 10 equals log base 2 of 2 raised to the h over 5 power. Now when I do that, when I have log base 2 and then 2 raised to something, that just cancels out to just h over 5. So I have log base 2 of 10 equals h over 5. I get h by itself. I multiply both sides by 5. So it gives me 5 log base 2 of 10 is equal to h. So that will be answer choice D. This one reads, which of the following number line graphs represents all the values in the domain of the function log base 10 of x squared minus 4x plus 3? Now for logarithms, we cannot take a log of a 0 or a negative number. So 0 will be the lowest number up to 0, but not including 0, is how low we can go for that value of inside the logarithm. So basically x squared minus 4x plus 3 has to be greater than 0. So the first thing I want to do is find the critical points. These are the x-intercepts. So I need to factor this. I'm going to come up with my two sets of parentheses. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me 3 and add up to negative 4. Alright, so that's going to be 3 and 1 and both need to be negative. And then x is in my first spots. All right, and you saw these set each one equal to 0. x equals 1. x minus 3 equals 0. And 3 to both sides, so x equals 3. Now if I look at this, this is a you know degree 2. That's going to be a parabola. If I were to graph this, I'm going to have the intersect at 1, an intersect at 3, and I know this is a parabola because it's the second degree x squared minus 4x plus 3, so that's going to be a parabola. The coefficient of the x squared is positive, so it's going to go open upwards. So anything above the line is going to be greater than 0. And there's going to be open circles here because it doesn't include 1 and 3. So values less than 1 
and values greater than three, x values will be in the domain. So if we look at our graphs over here, answer choices, f, g, h, j, and k. So it has to be open circle at one and going to the left, open circle at three and going to the right. So our answer choice k is the correct one.